If you were watching CBS tonight, you saw Clarice. It's the new thriller based on the Silence of the Lamb blockbuster movie. Clarice is an FBI agent, Clarice Starling, whose job it is to track down a serial killer. CBS 12 News sent Chief Investigator Mike Magnoli out to speak with a real-life Clarice Starling. Her name is Dale Hinman. She's living in Central Florida, and her case files include some of Florida's most notorious suspects. The movie, The Silence of the Lambs, based on the best-selling novel, swept top Oscars in 1992 and seemingly left us hungry for more. Actress Jodie Foster starred in the role of FBI agent Clarice Starling almost 30 years ago. Dale Hinman was an agent at that time for Florida's Department of Law Enforcement. She too trained at the FBI Behavioral Science Unit in Quantico, Virginia. And like Clarice, Hinman's cases included hunting serial killers. The first two victims were killed in an apartment together and they were stabbed and one of them was sexually assaulted and then another person was killed in rapid succession in an apartment across town. Agent Hinman is talking about the Gainesville Ripper who murdered five college students over four days. The bodies were posed in explicit positions and investigators were trying to figure out why leftover meals were discovered at the crime scenes. There was a piece of cheese on the sofa in one of the cases, and there was evidence that chicken had been eaten in the kitchen. And it was a real learning experience for all of us that he didn't have a refrigerator to go home to and food at his own house. So he was enjoying food at the victims' houses because that was his meal for the day and he spent time with the victims. The suspect, Danny Rowling, was homeless. He'd been living in a tent and he was obsessed with Ted Bundy. That was his hero. And so he had read every book that had ever been written about Ted Bundy. And so Florida State and the University of Florida are the rival colleges. So he didn't do his crime at Florida State. He went to the other college and Ted Bundy attacked five people at Florida State University and two died. Danny Rowling attacked five people at Gainesville and all died. So he felt that he had done Ted Bundy's crime better. Years before Hinman joined FDLE, she was a deputy and patrol officer. And like the fictional agent Starling, she experienced her fair share of sexism on the job, but she also found a silver lining. I was very athletic when I was in high school, when I was in college, and I thought, well, there probably isn't a physical fitness test that they can give the men that I can't pass. I was a triathlete and distance runner, so I thought I could do it, but I could do it in a way where I could be more compassionate and where I could sit with a victim and talk, and it turns out that victims were willing to tell me things. Not just victims. Killers were willing to tell Dale things too, like when she interviewed the infamous I-95 serial killer, Gary Ray Boyles. His victims lived near the interstate, and he told her he had no remorse for the crime spree, only regret that he had been caught. So how was she able to have conversations like that? She says in part, that's because of her FBI training and also her gut instincts. I'm Mike Magnoli, CBS 12 News. You can watch Clarice right here on CBS 12 every Thursday at 10 p.m.